Hi guys, and yeah, I'm back again. Um, welcome to our channel. And so today we're going to do a washer fluid uh, pump. You know, sometimes they go bad. They're kind of on the bottom of the washer fluid container there. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and replace that. This is my first time doing it, so I guess we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Hopefully you can kind of see it there. Move it up a little bit closer. Now you got to get the fluid out there, out of there as well. So we're going to see. Looks like mine's just held in here by a, uh, by a bungee for some reason. So. So I'm going to grab a light here also, let's kind of make it a little easier for me to see what I'm doing. So I'm turn it around here and see, see if this helps a little bit. Okay. We got a little light here, so this should should help out quite a bit. All right, now I can see where this bungee's hooked at. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna unhook this bungee for a second. I think these are normally probably screwed in here, but mine, I think mine, I think broke so. Um, one other thing too is we'll have to, uh, unhook the, the coolant and all that as well. i kind of turn this, turn this over. Kind of see what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, it looks like the coolant has just got a clamp on it. So I'm going to go grab a pair of pliers. Go ahead. All right, so I've got a pair of pliers now. I think we will, uh, see if we can't pull this. Clamp off here. I like everything with this pickup. Everything's kind of in a tight spot. So that's gonna start draining out here. So just gonna put our finger against it for a moment. Um, Go lay down. Yeah, if you got any dogs around or anything like that, you don't want them near your your coolant either, obviously. Because some dogs like to uh, to drink it. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this back on for a second. I'm going to. Uh, Not want to stay where I want it here. Okay. Um. Probably the best bet here is to see if I can drain it back into the jug that came in. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that or not. I'm going to give it a shot here. There we go. 
That's actually going to work pretty good. It kind of sucks because uh, I just had replaced and filled the uh, coolant up just a couple days ago, and I literally just got the uh, the uh, starter replaced, and then I was trying to didn't even get all the way back to the house, and the uh, the pump went out in the windshield washer. So these happen to be connected, so the wa the washer fluid and the radiator uh, fill deal is. Uh, right here in the same container so <laughs> so anyway we gotta we gotta drain this all out let's see how we're doing here Okay, guys. See ya. Okay, guys. So had the lid kind of jump back at me there. It's kind of on a kind of on a uh, little hinge there. So I think we got all the we got all this out of there. So yeah, just be careful. The antifreeze kind of is not a good thing to mess around with, especially getting it in your eyes or something like that. But, uh, I had to stop for a second and wipe my eyes off. So we got the uh, antifreeze drained out. I'm not really too concerned about this. Um, I'm not too concerned about this washer fluid. I'm just gonna probably dump it out because it's it was old anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and try and take this power cord off of here. It looks like it's in here pretty good, I don't know. Hopefully I can get it pulled, pulled out of here. Yeah, it looks like it has a clip on it here. It's kind of hard to see it. But the clip appears to be broken, so I'm going to try and get it out of here. Maybe. There we go. Oops. 
Well, I got it off there now. It's working, working its way out. Okay, so yeah, it's just a little, little deal like this. Two little prongs. Now, for some reason, we got the washer fluid on this side. Doesn't even look like it's got a got a deal on it, so I'm just gonna take this out and dump it out. Okay. okay guys, I pretty much just went out and washed this out really good. And uh, so I think we're ready to try and remove this motor now or this uh, little motor out of here. Now there is a little keeper washer type thing. And it says it's uh, better to use like a little flathead screwdriver to uh, remove that out of there so I'm gonna find a little flathead screwdriver so we can remove that and that'll make it to where this will hopefully come out of here this is probably the the original I would imagine so it's been in here since 19. 1991 so yeah kind of looks like this you guys can see that little thing it's like that so yeah and we're just going to try and remove this dilly out of here should just kind of come on out now the videos i've watched and then it wasn't any videos that were specifically for this truck but uh wow so that came out really easy so guys um that's kind of crazy because the videos i've seen were for some different years of trucks it was like an f-150 or a bronco or something like that but they all had trouble getting it out of here 
And yeah, this one came out really easy. I pulled, literally pulled this little keeper washer thing off and it popped right out. A lot of the videos you'll see this plastic thing stays in there and then this propeller comes off and everything. So I was really surprised that this all just came out super, super easy. So we're going to grab the new, new part and we're going to stick it in there and see if it fits. Where did I put it out here? Okay. I just set it over here out of my way. So this is right out of here. Okay guys, so here's the here's the new one. Right here. And you can see kind of doesn't look very new, but it's the new one. Uh just like that. So we're going to pop this baby in there. It's supposed to just slide right in there and seat really good like it just did. And then they also give you extra little, these little keeper washer things. I guess that's what they're called. So anyway, I'm going to pop, pop this in here somehow. I'm not really sure how you work these in i guess you just kind of work it in with a flathead screwdriver i guess Yeah, these are quite the little, little keeper washers. I've never, I've never personally dealt with these things before, but they are, they really go in there. Yeah, guys, these things are crazy. I guess you want it to stay in there, so it's the best, best way to do it, I guess. Okay, I think we're, I think they're, I think we're in there really good, and I've actually, they actually stuck an extra one in there too, just, I guess there's some of these that uh, may mess up, you know, because they're really kind of flimsy and whatnot, so I may just, I mean, I could have actually used this one again, but like I said, I've got an extra one in there, so. All right, well, that went very, it went really smoothly, actually, because, you know, I've never, I've never done one of these before, so that actually went super, super easy. So, yeah, guys, just make sure when you uh, put this booger back in here that you uh, hook up the right ones to the right uh, thing. So, actually, I'm, I'm working on hooking it to the wrong thing already. So, yeah, this one here is the windshield wiper you know that because it's right there where the motor was and then this other one was for the uh cool one which actually this one has a little little keeper thing on here so we just take some pliers and back on there it's pretty pretty easy get this thing lined up the way i want it Once you squeeze that right down, it should slide back on there, just like it just did. So yeah, guys, 
just gonna pull it. So now you can see that. Got this one hooked back up. The uh, windshield wiper fluid. It didn't actually have a uh, clamp on it. I don't think it needs one. It hasn't ever leaked or anything. So I think we're good. I think we're good there. And then that goes like that. This goes like that. Okay, so now I don't really like how that was before this little, this little wire here was kind of in the way. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of keep this thing in there behind this because, like I said, I didn't really care for the way it was on there. And then all, all we really had here was a bungee. So we're gonna hook this bungee back up the way it was. Just back on the back here, it's in this little hole right there. Right there. Yeah, just like so. Yeah, like that. That's pretty flat, you know. That's hanging in there, just like that. Yeah, like I said, it. Uh, this used to. This used to. Uh, used to have a it was bolted in here before but this is just an old truck so yeah anyway oh one thing I did forget to do guys <laughs> I'm too excited here I gotta hook the power back up so where did that little power power thing go uh, shit. yeah that's the thing about these old trucks too there's like like somebody just unhooked a bunch of stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay, so yeah, that would, we obviously know that wouldn't work if we uh, <laughs> didn't plug this back in here. So, yeah, I'm just going to plug this, so anyway, I'm just going to plug this back in here, make sure it's in there good. I kind of broke the clip there, but, okay, I don't think I really need that anyway, honestly. So, let me get this back again, get the clip plugged in. We'll just run this. Yeah, there's literally, there's tons of, tons of freaking wires that don't go anywhere. So, it's kind of the way it is when I, when I got this old truck. But, these old Rangers are, they're good pickups. So, anyway, so we got that replaced. Um, so, I guess now we'll... Pour, uh, pour some windshield wiper fluid in here and see if it'll actually work. That'll be the test, I guess. So let me let me grab some wiper fluid, pour it in there, and see if it'll work. All right. 
So. We got some. Got some new, new washer fluid here. So we're gonna pour this in here. Make sure you pour it in the correct place, like so. And we'll fill it up pretty, pretty full there. That's probably enough. And we'll take and close the lid on that. I'm not going to fill the, I'm not going to fill the radiator just yet, just in case it's not working for some reason. So, I'm going to get the tools out of the way here and uh, move this out of the way. And we'll see. Okay. This is going to, this is going to work or not. Um, okay, hey, I'm just gonna turn the key on and see if it'll see if it'll work before I get too crazy here. Take off my gloves real quick, and then I'll just turn on the turn on the truck. Well, that did work. So we know it works now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the coolant back in there. But uh, yeah, first time I try to replace something like that, and it actually went super, super smooth. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, everything seems to be nice and tight here. This is, whoops. Well, that actually uh, came out of there. I may have to uh, do something a little different there to keep that in there because that just doesn't want to stay in there now that that clip is gone. I may have to get another oh shit. So, yeah. Yeah, it's always something when you're dealing with these old trucks, but should stay in there pops loose or something I'll plug it back in um, yeah like I said there's stuff like everywhere in here just hanging vibrate out of there too so hmm well, for now though I think it's working so if I may have to get a new plug for that like I said the little keeper little keeper clip broke off kind of a fragile fragile little thing but it should it should stay on there I don't see that working its way with this so anyway everything's good there just gonna lower that back down in a, into its place I'm gonna put the coolant back in here so Fill this back up real quick. on there kind of spilled a little bit there but it's okay I kind of got like a, a carpet here so 
it soaks right into the carpet. So, anyway, we'll just wipe this up real quick. Should all be good now. Uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. But, yeah, everything works good now. It's not going anywhere. I'll clean this thing up so it looks good. Other than that, that's pretty much... Pretty much all there was to it so anyway guys um i'm not a pro i just did it myself never done it before it actually went pretty easily so anyway get you back up there where i can see you so anyway um yeah if you like the video like and subscribe and if it helped you like i said hopefully uh like i said i watched some other videos online and they didn't have this particular one, but they're all pretty much the same. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Have a good day. Okay guys, I wanted to show you that it actually works. So I'm just going to show you that it's very comfy. Just so you can see it maybe from the side. It'd be easier. Okay. So hopefully you guys can kind of see that. Alright, I'm going to flip it on there so you guys can see, see it working. So, here it goes. Alright guys, well that's the last of the video, so like I said, thanks for watching.